In this video, we'll show you how to test the pressure gauge on your Barista Express or infuser. For this process, you'll need a container, the one cup dual wall filter basket, and the cleaning disc. Press the power button to turn your unit on. Press and hold the program button for approximately 3 to 5 seconds to reset the unit. Place a cup or container underneath the group head. Then press the 1 or 2 cup button. Water should begin to flow from the group head. If your unit is dispensing little to no water, try descaling your unit first. Check the bottom of your filter basket. The dual wall baskets should have the word dual on the bottom. Insert the one cup dual wall filter basket into the portafilter. Insert and lock the portafilter into the group head. Then place a cup or bolt underneath. Press the two cup button to start the test. The first test will allow the pressure gauge needle to move just to the beginning of the espresso range. Press the 2 cup button to manually end the cycle. If your cleaning disc does not have a hole in the center, insert the cleaning disc as is. If your cleaning disc has a hole in the center, completely wrap the disc using plastic wrap to prevent any water from flowing through. If you do not have plastic wrap, you can also use aluminum foil or place very fine grounds on the disc. Insert the cleaning disc into the portafilter. Insert and lock the portafilter into your unit. Then place a container underneath the group head. Press the 2 cup button to start the test. The second test will allow the pressure gauge needle to move to just around the maximum espresso range. Press the 2 cup button to manually end the cycle. Remove your container, then the portafilter. If your unit responded to both tests, your unit is responding properly to pressure. We simply may need to make a few adjustments and dial in your shot. Let's review a few variables that can cause low pressure or under extraction to occur. As beans age, they can become stale and affect your extraction. We recommend using fresh beans roasted within 30 days. If you are using older beans or commercial beans with a Best Buy date, try switching to the dual wall filter basket. Ensure your dosage is correct. Underdosing or too little grounds can cause low pressure. You can also use your tamper tool as a reference, ensuring the silver line on the tamper matches the space remaining in the portafilter. Or try using the razor tool, ensuring the bottom of the tool touches the grounds. Ensure your grind size is correct. Grounds that are too coarse can cause low pressure to occur. Try adjusting your grind size to a finer setting to create more pressure. Using the correct variables is key to pulling a good espresso shot within pressure. 